What's up, everybody? We're back yet again for a drum playthrough review. Thanks for everyone for tuning in and stopping by. For everybody who's brand new, hello and welcome. My name is Nick. I play drums and a bunch of other instruments, and we do these videos so that way we can learn from the best and people who are better than us as musicians, so that way we can in turn take that information and make ourselves better musicians. So today we're going to be reviewing a drummer who I've seen live before. This dude can actually play, and that's the craziest part. I'm sure some of you guys, you know, who follow me, you're into the deathcore kind of a outfit, you know, kind of like I am. I never grew up on the deathcore kind of a vibe. I kind of came into it a little bit later on, a couple years ago, but it doesn't matter. I'm still a big fan of it. I kind of always enjoyed the filthy breakdowns and whatnot. But today we're going to be checking out a band who I've seen live before. This band is Signs of the Swarm. Absolutely phenomenal band live, by the way. Highly recommend. I got to talk to their vocalist afterward, David. He was absolutely chill. Freaking awesome, dude. And their drummer can play. No doubt about that. This is kind of an unofficial drum playthrough that they did of their brand new song, Amongst the Low and Empty. They haven't had time, according to what he says on the description, to make like an official drum playthrough because they've been a little bit busy. But this is a one take, no edit playthrough filmed on his iPhone 14 in his basement. So that's how you already know. This is legit. I will just say this right now, by the way, his double strokes are absolutely phenomenal and on point. There's no joking around about this one. All right, without further ado, ladies and gents, let's get into the playthrough. Yeah, that does look like a basement that I'd be stored in, probably. Not like you ever got captured. Yeah, so just from this angle, you can't really see a whole lot of what his feet are doing. But you can just tell just by how he looks. Very relaxed. He's using good finger technique as well. The snare is tuned really well. And it's got good, good audible volume. Audible volume on that snare drum. That means he's hitting it with good power. Oh, is that... Yeah, that's the Evans snare drum that has the little metal plate underneath of it as well. I used to have that on my bass drum. Uh, not my bass drum, I'm sorry, my snare drum. That is a great head, by the way, because it's like triple coated, triple layered, and then it's got the little steel plate underneath the center of the bass, uh, not the bass, the center of the snare drum head. It, it's phenomenal, dude. It sounds great because that controls the resonance as well as it also provides extra stability since that's going to be the most beaten part of the drum if you're playing it right. Yeah, he's an absolutely phenomenal drummer. Dude. He can play. Keeping really relaxed at these very high tempos. And the snare volume, too, is very consistent. Even on the blast beats, even though he lowers the volume on the blast beats a little bit, it's still very consistent very consistent and I enjoy that that's something that I think a lot of drummers don't take into effect is that the consistency really does matter I mean just listen to that right there nice little marching drum sound Mar marching drum sound I can speak English great today guys Yeah, it's, he's, he's such a good drummer. He's locked in with his metronome, too. He's perfectly on time right here. That's a tasty pill. Very tasty. Not too overcomplicated or anything like this. Did I put that? You know, that's, that's so good. Very good cymbal work as well. His ostinato is really well done. Like I said, it's double strokes. He hasn't made a single mistake so far. Yeah, 
Yeah, dude, that bass drum is so freaking good. It sounds like when I play my quad bass, honestly. And he's got a double pedal, so. I can get probably a little faster than him using the quad bass. But still, phenomenal job on his part. So yeah, man, that was Bobby Crow of Signs of the Swarm. And I'll link his channel down below. He's got 1,620 subscribers, it looks like. We can get those numbers up, guys. Come on, let's let's help this man out. But absolutely phenomenal job on his part. As you can tell, he was keeping very loose. You could tell he was using a lot of good finger and wrist technique. But honestly, what this exemplifies as well is consistency. Consistency is something that I feel like a lot of drummers kind of lose sight of, especially when, you know, now that triggers are kind of a thing. Whenever you get into the really really fast technical side of things as far as the drums are concerned consistency kind of goes out the window because you can just trigger out your drums and that makes everything consistent for you so at the end of the day when you have triggers on you don't necessarily need to hit at any percent power you can hit with one percent power and it sounds like you're just going like that but obviously you can tell this was no triggers this was mic'd up this was filmed on an iphone 14 one take it was mixed very well i will say that for sure that snare sounded absolutely great so whatever eq he was running that through it sounds really good but yeah man his consistency is absolutely phenomenal because you could tell even on the blast beats he was keeping a very good volume with the blast beats as compared to the rim shots he was using a lot of different dynamic controls with the snare drum and with the different fills that he was using and the other thing i think is really important to see is that his fills they weren't over complicated they were nicely perfectly placed in very nicely well timed it added such a good compliment to the song whereas everything else was kind of really heavy and technical the fills we're just a nice little break from that. It wasn't necessarily the craziest thing you've ever heard, but it was nicely well put in there. So tasteful. I absolutely enjoy it when fills can be like that. And that's something I think a lot of drummers kind of lose sight of is that when they start getting into the really technical side of drumming, they think, oh, my fills have to be super fast and technical too. Not necessarily. You can keep your fills pretty simple and it's just as good. So just keep that in mind next time you're writing something that's really technical or anything like that. If you're trying to think of a good fill to come up with that's kind of unique, Maybe slow it down. You never know. That actually could fit the song a whole lot better. But yes, absolutely fantastic job on Bobby Crow's part. Like I said, I'll link his channel down below. But dude, Signs of the Swarm, if you ever get the chance to see them live, they are going on tour. Go see them. And with all that being said, guys, we'll cut the video here. So here's a few things y'all can do to support me. So for one, you can like, subscribe, share, comment down below what you thought of the video. You can check out the playlist that I have with videos that are very similar to this. And you can also check out the Spotify links that I've got down below for my band page. And with all that being said, guys, that's the end of this video. So thanks for tuning in and stopping by. And hopefully I'll see y'all in the next video.